Now, I know someone is out there asking multiple times in the comments for Fala. I hear you. I worked on it. Uh, obviously, I'm not familiar with the fundamentals, so not investment advice. This could be a diamond formation. So it's this like gigantic, you know, broadening volatility formation that has two points at the end. Frequently, when you have a diamond formation like you had in DOT in the low 30s or mid 30s, you can get huge breakouts and huge breakdowns from this formation. Now, since the first move in this coin was higher, and since it seems obvious that sellers are kind of sitting on it, right? They're kind of like, you know, every time it goes to a dollar, they hammer on it. That said, I've seen this before, right? Sellers do what they have to do, do what they have to do, do what they have to do. And then when they're out of ammo, it goes. So if this thing is above a dollar, you can go with it. If you're stuck or a bag holder, or, you know, you want to wait, I would say, you know what? If it's above 70 cents, not investment advice, wait. Because the reward on any upside catalyst could be pretty good. Now, ICP, Internet Computer Protocol, interesting. So this was a lot higher. It got completely hammered. And now it's done this like sideways basing formation. I've seen before where the same GAN lines that created a failure in September, many coins are now starting to sort of like glide through that diagonal resistance. So to keep it brief, in ICP, I've got four green candles or three green candles as of November 8th. So something is probably building up here for this thing to try to go higher. Now, if you get a big red day, maybe that's a chance to take a shot. Why? Well, because you know what? It's not a bull market, folks, unless you can buy a dip and make money. This is really what Forrest is trying to tell you philosophically with the great precision analysis on Bitcoin, right? If it's really a bull market, you should be able to get a dip, buy a dip and make money. If you can buy the dips, even if they're scary and make money, then it's a bull market. And I would apply that to ICP. Now, people asking for mana, Decentraland, absolutely, I'm covering this. This is a test of my theory as to whether or not 265 or 50% retracement levels matter. In other words, you know, can you buy the dip in the metaverse, right? Like one minute, the metaverse was everything. Now I feel like no one's talking about it, right? And people should be talking about it. This is not over. Facebook is running metaverse ads on American football games. And this trade, maybe there's tax law selling in certain NFTs, but if there's tax law selling in NFTs because some people got caught, the next time people go to do a trade, they will think about their NFT and how it relates to gaming and the metaverse. So, People who lost the first round on NFTs, when they come back, I think they're coming back in the metaverse. I'll test to see if that theory is right. If Decentraland holds 265, if Decentraland went to 211, that's a 62% number. That's not on the chart. But frankly, if it attacked two, it would be Christmas. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com.